Welcome, my name is Albert. Thank you for joining me today. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about how often should you be texting a girl? Okay, so if this is your first time to the channel, welcome, like I said, my name is Albert. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos because on this channel, I teach you guys how to become better men and I teach you guys how to improve your interactions with women, okay? At the end of this video, I'm gonna give you guys an anecdote that will best help you understand how, why it is that we're gonna do the things that I will teach you in this video, right? This anecdote will help you a lot. So if you wanna hear that, stay tuned to the end of the video, okay? So let's jump right into this topic, right? So a lot of guys always ask me, how come we can't just text her and she texts us back? That would make life a lot easier. Here's the thing, yes, it would make life a lot easier if you text a girl, she would text you back immediately and, and you know, that would be it. You hit her up and stuff, you know, you hit her up and um, you, you guys set up a date and everything is good. But unfortunately, that's not how life works, right? That's just not how life works, right? So when it comes to texting girls, you have to understand a couple of things. Okay, you have to understand a couple of things. It's very important for you to have an abundance mindset when you are texting girls, right? Having an abundance mindset is very important. It keeps you from feeling sad. It keeps you from doing things um, horribly wrong, okay? Remember, guys, when you're texting a girl, less is more, right? The more you do, you're actually harming yourself, especially when it comes to text, right? Remember, texting her is just to make sure that you guys meet up on a date. You're trying to use the text as a means to get her out on a date or to get her out to the next meeting. You're not having a conversation over text. If she asks you a question, that's fine. You can answer questions and all that, but the text is just for setting up dates, right? Most guys, what they do is that they wanna continue texting the girl every single day. And remember what I tell you guys, less is more, right? You don't want to be, you don't want to overkill on the text, right? If you're oversharing on text, this is a bad thing. If you're spending hours texting a girl, if you're texting her every single day, all this is bad, okay? If you are a kind of guy that's always texting a girl and letting her know every little minutiae of your life, this is horribly bad. The only time that I've seen guys successfully text girls every day and all the time is when, in those rare occasions where you see both of them just, for some reason, they just they just love each other, right? And you know, but for general population, you do not do this, right? Less is more, okay? Something that I will have you guys think about is this. If you guys wanna text a girl, right? Let's say you just got the number, right? And you say, when should I text her? I would say you want to text her two to three hours after you've gotten the number just to say nice to meet you and have a little bit of banter and set something up. Same day, right? You don't have to wait two to three days, right? Now, let's say you text a girl the first time, right? You text a girl the first time and she doesn't respond to you. Some guys are like, okay, when should I text her? You know what? Here's the thing. If you are worried about when you should text a girl or what to text a certain girl, this is actually a cause of a bigger problem. You should have a lot of things going on in your life that wondering what to text this girl should not be a priority in your life. You, texting should be a thing where you just you text it and you leave it alone. You, you text it and you throw your phone away, right? You should be having other projects in your life keeping you busy right? You should be texting other girls, multiple girls. The fact that you are wondering and wondering how often you should be texting one girl means one thing, you don't have enough girls that you should be texting, which means you need to be approaching more and getting more numbers daily. The second thing is that you're not focusing on your purpose. You're not, you're not busy enough. You're not working on things that are, that should be priority in your life. You should be taking care of your finances, right? Making sure that your business is on track or whatever goal that you are trying to set for yourself, that should take front and center of your life. Okay. Remember guys, when you text a girl a lot, it sub communicates to her that you are needy and that you are desperate. 
And remember guys, needy and desperate are two things you don't wanna communicate to a girl, either verbally or subcommunicate them because it will turn her off. It will dry her out, trust me, okay? Nothing dries a woman's vajayjay v- v- j- j- like being needy and desperate. And when you text her all the time, that's what you're gonna come off, right? So. How do we answer the question of how often she would text her? And I will tell you guys with with an anecdote, right? A few guys know, and I don't know if you guys know this, right? There is a, there's a bag called the Birkin, right? I personally didn't know what this thing was, but I just kept hearing it over and over and over and over again. A lot of celebrity women, they're always talking about Birkin bags. I heard it rap song. I was like, you know what? Let me find out what the heck a Birkin bag is, right? And one thing I found out was that the Birkin bag is so exclusive. Not everybody can own a Birkin bag. And you can't just buy multiple Birkin bags if you go into the store. You can only buy one at a time, right? So come to find out that Hermes, right? Hermes, Hermes, or I don't don't know how you say it. They do this on purpose to make, to raise the value of the bag and to keep it more exclusive and more sought after, right? Now you might be asking me, wait, Albert, what does Birkin bag and texting have to do with one another? Here's the thing. The reason why women love the Birkin bag is because of its high valueness. It's not common, it is rare, right? The same thing goes with texting and the guys they text back. They text guys of high value. High value men are very rare. They are very rare. They are very busy. They are hard to get a hold of, right? If you're always available to her, she will see you as low value. If you are busy, you're not texting her all the time. She It, it subcommunicates to her that you have stuff going on in your life. But if you're there texting her all the time, you become like all these other guys out there who she can easily get, but she doesn't want those guys. She wants the high value man. She wants the guy with more value. She wants the guy that is exclusive, sought after by everyone, but only few people can get his time. The ones that really can afford to get his time and deserve his time, right? So I will leave you with this. Never double text a woman, right? On the same day. You never do it. Okay? You never text her every day. Unless she texts you, then yeah. You never text her fast, right? If she texts you and and you guys are trying to set up, if you're if you're trying to set up something, sure. But if she takes an hour to text you and you're texting her fast every single time, giving it look, the way you text a woman should determine how busy you are. And I'm gonna explain that. Let's say a woman texts you, right? And you text her back and she takes two hours to to, to text you back. Don't worry about texting her back. If you can't text her back that same day, that's fine. You can text her the next day. You, You can text her in 30 minutes, right? It doesn't have to be a thing where, because the thing is that, like I said, guys, I want you guys to literally focus on yourselves. Make sure you're focusing on your purpose and your goals in life. This will make you automatically more busy. It'll make you more high value and you will do things naturally. It doesn't have to come off like, oh, okay, I'm gonna wait two hours to, to text her back. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna wait. Uh, she texted me back, in a, she texted me in an hour. Okay, I'm gonna wait two hours to text her back. No, right? You, you can do that if you're not busy, but yes. But what I'm trying to tell you guys is that you have to become that high value male. It's fine if you're not, but you have to grow into it. You have to start focusing on other priorities in your life, your goals, your purpose in life. Okay, you have to become actually busy. You have to become an actual high value male so that you become sought after because When you are a high value male, you will actually sub-communicate these things naturally. You won't be getting back to people like just, people can't get a hold of you, right? In the beginning, sure, you know, 
you want to not text her every day you want to take an hour or maybe 30 minutes after she she, uh, she texts you to text her back you know you want to do these things in the beginning but as time goes on you need to focus on you as a man and actually have things other things going on in your life setting up other multiple options in your life getting different numbers doing different things with your life that you are actually busy okay guys i hope i have explained that very well and i hope you guys are seeing value in that that is the video for today if you have not already subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos because on this channel i teach you guys how to become better men and how to improve your interactions with women okay do me a favor share this with someone that needs to hear it and with that i'll see you guys in the next one